This is the uh, Atlas uh, mobile casing jack trailer. Uh, we often get calls about it, so I thought I'd take a video of it just so you can uh, see what we have here. Uh, a little explanation on it. So uh, if you're interested in something like that, you can give us a call. Uh, it's a gooseneck trailer. We have it built by uh, Kaufman Trailers. It's specially built for Atlas. Uh, it's designed that uh, the weight and balance uh, equals out so we end up with about 1200 pounds of uh, tongue weight in the uh, travel position and then when uh, you take the jack off for uh, jacking um, it obviously won't uh, tip over it's a nice solid built uh, trailer built down in uh, the states and a uh, couple nice uh, storage lockers up front for equipment uh, they both uh, lock Nice step up to the uh, platform there so you don't have to climb all over things to get up. This is uh, where the slips are kept for the jack. It's a custom box that uh, we build. Uh, it also has uh, double locking features. There's uh, quite a bit of value uh, in slips in the box here so uh, we want to keep it secure. And it's also uh, bolted down to the uh, substructure of the uh, frame just uh, if you were to ever to have a rollover or anything like that uh, you keep everything uh, intact and we got uh, the hose reels they're uh, made by Cox reel uh, for Atlas here uh, for the length of uh, hose that we uh, require they're uh, 12 volts so they run right off the battery and I uh, got a little push button switch to uh, Recoil it. Uh, this particular unit, uh, we have uh, 50 foot lengths of uh, hose on the trailer. And uh, this is our Atlas uh, 4520 hydraulic power pack. Uh, we build it here at the shop. We have a few different versions, uh, but this uh, particular model we sell about 10 to 1. It's a 4000 psi system, uh, 20 gallons a minute and uh, I'm just right there you can see it's got a dual oil uh, hydraulic oil cooler so we send a lot of these uh, units to the Middle East or to hot parts of uh, different countries so keeps your uh, hydraulic oil cool and we'll take a closer look once I get up there but there's the uh, control panel and uh, nice feature that we put on these is a uh, tonnage gauge so when you're pulling on case uh, you know exactly uh, what uh, string weight you're pulling and it's uh, it's also anchored uh, down to the uh, the deck of the trailer the idea is that uh, you leave the power pack on the trailer take the jack off and uh, hook your hydraulic hoses to it uh, that being said, uh, there's four pins that uh, pull out and you can actually just, uh, uh, with the lifting lugs up on the uh, power pack, you can lift it uh, off the trailer. And again, uh, anchored to the, uh, the trailer with uh, big uh, uh, rods and uh, whatnot uh, in four spots here. So again, if you had, had ever had any kind of rollover or anything, uh, you keep everything intact. That's also a, uh, while I'm thinking about it, that's a uh, tier 3, tier 4 compliant uh, engine. It meets all the current regulations uh, in the states, uh, California and whatnot. And this here is our uh, Atlas uh, YJ250 ton on this particular uh, trailer. Uh, we make them uh, from 50 ton to uh, 500 ton. Uh, we, uh, we can make bigger if requested, but uh, the YJ250 by far is uh, our most popular uh, unit, especially on the, uh, the mobile trailers. It uh, is built again here at the shop at Atlas. Uh, these cylinders uh, on all our jacks, uh, they're North American made. Uh, they're made for us specially uh, to meet the API certifications that we require for the stress testing and, uh, and uh, our specifications. 
Um, we've gone now to a uh, built-in uh, counterbalance uh, system so if you're ever to lose a line pressure or sever a hydraulic line it, uh, it would prevent the jack from uh, collapsing. It's a requirement on a lot of the uh, job sites now so uh, pretty much all our jacks now are built with, uh, with the counterbalance valves. The, uh, this is one of the guys at the shop uh, come up with this idea to keep it in place. They're an over-centering uh, cam that uh, keeps the, uh, the jack in place while uh, anchored to uh, this big plate. And again, it's uh, secured underneath the trailer with uh, some big lifting lugs. And we also uh, add some straps just for uh, top uh, stability so it isn't uh, going anywhere. Uh, bumpy roads or anything it's gonna it's gonna stay put we don't have the slips insert, uh, inserted but uh, that's your bottom bowls for your bottom slips and uh, uh, your top slips obviously go up there and uh, we call this the uh, these jacks the yellow jacket and uh, there's the uh, certification uh, stickers for the, uh, the casing jack uh, every jack we build uh, goes through an engineering computer modeling. Every jack we build goes through a computer uh, modeling uh, schedule, stress test, and uh, the idea is to come up with uh, how many cycles or how many wells the jack can pull before it requires inspection. Um, we kind of overbuild the jacks here uh, because uh, when the reports come back on all our jacks, the majority of them have an infinite life, they don't require any inspection uh, of welds or uh, anything like that. All grade 8 fasteners uh, where we can. Actually we got a, uh, it's a YJ a 150, 150 ton uh, jack going to another customer. We're just, uh, out doing some testing on it, getting it ready to go, and uh, they've matched it up with uh, a 4520 uh, power pack. Uh, it's a good combination, that's lots and lots of power for this jack. Uh, customer ever decides he wants a bigger jack, um, you just uh, hook it up to, uh, to this power pack. Also, uh, we use uh, dry brake couplers uh, that attach to the uh, the jack. Um, basically you can uh, undo the hydraulic lines well under under pressure uh, up to 4000 uh, psi so you don't have to bleed the uh, pressure off. Uh, they're uh, a little expensive to buy but uh, uh, they're a nice addition to uh, the casing jack. Uh, most most companies order, uh, order it with it. Well, I'm looking at this one, uh, it's the power pack and uh, as you can see there's the uh, tonnage gauge uh, for the uh, 150 ton on this particular one. There's your uh, oil level, oil temperature in your hydraulic tank. Nice big uh, radiator on these. These are a uh, Mitsubishi engine we use. Um, had good luck uh, with them. I actually had never had a problem with them um, and uh, they're nice, they're compact. They're not complicated uh, if you ever did need to work on them. That's the, the big thing uh, even with the emissions uh, on them. Uh, they're very simple to work on uh, if need be. This here is uh, again the uh, dual oil cooler that we uh, run just to keep everything uh, cool on the unit. There's our uh, slip uh, case again, and uh, step to get up. Lots of reflectors on the unit, hand crank to uh, get the uh, gooseneck up. And uh, it's the ball style uh, gooseneck uh, trailer that we use. This uh, is adjustable for, uh, for different trucks. So we'll climb up on the uh, trailer and have a look in uh, Slip box. We're up on the uh, deck of the trailer here, and uh, this is the slip box. And we'll just uh, there's the 
here they all are uh, all the different sizes. This particular mu uh, unit, uh, we've got three and a half, four, four and a half, five, and seven inch slips, both tops and bottoms. Again, it's a locking case. Uh, these uh, slips are quite expensive. Uh, we build them here at uh, our factory. The uh, slip material is a blend of our own materials. It's an alloy and uh, we machine them here and uh, we actually sent them out to be uh, heat treated toughen them up a bit um, we actually take them to about the max hardness with, without making them brittle the, uh, the design we have they grip the pipe at about 360 degrees so uh, less distortion to the pipe uh, uh, also uh, these uh, slip retaining rings uh, one of the guys in the shop came up with that. Just makes handling the slips uh, nice. Um, some of the slips can get quite heavy. Like uh, actually these here, the three and a half inch slips. Uh, each of those is about a couple hundred pounds. So yeah, they're going to need a, a crane or a couple strong guys to uh, to lift them in place. That's David, the uh, master uh, of all the uh, construction around here. There's the uh, dual oil cooler again. It's the uh, lifting lugs. It's a control panel again, nice and simple, clean. Here's the tonnage gauge for this one, 250 uh, tons. And uh, they're all uh, certified gauges, um, calibrated. Uh, also, yeah, with the, uh, with the power packs here, if you're on the ground, uh, we've got uh, footless, uh, forklift lifts as well, which is uh, kind of nice. So you can either lift it off with the, uh, the lifting lugs, and once it's on the ground, you can move it around with the forklift. And uh, here's the jack again, uh, strap tie downs again. And that's uh, it, that's our Atlas uh, mobile uh, casing jack unit. Um, quite a popular uh, unit with reclamation uh, folks, well just about anybody. So if you're uh, interested in any of the uh, Atlas products, uh, casing jack, hydraulic power packs, slips, anything like that, you can give us a call at 1-866-338-5008. Uh, uh, email is atlas at casinghammer, which is a C-A-S-I-N-G-H-A-M-M-E-R dot com or our website is www.casinghammer.com and we're located uh, on beautiful Vancouver Island British Columbia Canada and if you have any uh, custom work that needs doing uh, or building uh, we also do uh, custom projects rig construction and uh, anything like that the uh, jacks I forgot to mention, uh, they come in different strokes. These particular ones are 36 inch stroke jacks. Um, we also make them in 60 inch uh, stroke jacks or 24 inch stroke jacks. Uh, 36 is the most common. Um, 60 inch uh, and 36 are about 50-50 on the uh, YJ250. And uh, the bowl sizes, uh, we can adjust them for what you need typically. Uh, we build them to handle up to uh, 7 inch for the oil uh, field type or uh, 8 inch for water well type guys but uh, we have built uh, the bowls uh, oh we've done them up to 30 inch as well uh, there's there's nothing really we can't do uh, all our jacks are uh, custom we make them one at a time 
and uh, we make them right here. Alright, uh, hope this helped you out.